Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 2 part A in our administrator guide on installing SharePoint. In this lesson I will show you how to resolve some of the critical issues that occurred post installation. Let's open up the um, administration console here. Put in our username and password. See if I got that right. Looks like I did. Okay, so you'll notice we have um, some critical issues that require our attention. I kind of cheated and, and made this stuff uh, pop up a little uh, sooner. Uh, basically, let's let's check something out. Uh, and I, th I think I briefly showed you this last video, but if you look at uh, your job definitions, you go to monitoring and then uh, job definitions, you'll see that um, there's a bunch of jobs that run, uh, you know, at different time periods during the week. You can click on it, see what it's done, uh, or see what it's doing when it's scheduled to run. Health uh, analysis job. <coughs> so if we want to, I mean, why not? run now so it'll actually run that now well after so uh, long um, ultimately the base installation that we did uh, had a few problems so let's go ahead and figure out how we troubleshoot these problems and uh, ultimately let's get them resolved okay so the first one says the server farm account should not be used for other services so let's go ahead and uh, click on this and see exactly what that means the server farm account should not be used for other services error okay next star spdb so we remember that sharepoint database access account used by sharepoint timer service and the central administration site is a highly is highly privileged and should not be used for any other services long story short uh, it says that uh, the following services were found to use this account, Web Analytics Data Processing. So uh, we just need to create another account. So we'll go to that MMC, Microsoft Management Console, File, Add, Remove, Snap-in, Active Directory, Users, and Computers. We'll go to our um, Services Accounts. <coughs> See, and we'll just double check again exactly what it was asking for. Um, web analytics data processing service so that's a long one so let's go ahead and do new user okay SharePoint web analytics so SP web analytics next password never expires even though we're actually gonna turn on automatic password uh, the system can actually manage your user accounts to make sure that the passwords change uh, so that way they're a little more secure. But anyways, okay, and there we go. Okay, so now what we have to do, it says browse to farm credential management. So we'll click on this link here. Okay, and what, we, what do we um, wanna do? We wanna hit the down arrow and go to web analytics data processing. You'll see here that it's using the S, uh, SharePoint database access account. So we have to register a new managed account. Okay, uh, our domain name, next star, yours might be my domain or, or whatever you set it up, SP Web Analytics. Okay, my, I'm gonna put in the, my super secret password. Okay, and I'm gonna enable automatic password change. Hit okay. Okay, there we go. So now when I go to uh, this Web Analytics where is that at? There it is. And hit the, uh, the managed account, SP Web Analytics. Hit OK. I'll just go ahead and process for a sec. All right, so we'll go to monitoring, review problems and solutions. Hmm, the server account should not be used for other services. So what we need to do, click reanalyze. And we'll stay there for a second. Give it a minute, hit refresh. There it is, perfect. Okay, so uh, we just fixed that one. The unattended service account application ID is not specified or has an invalid value. Well, um, let's see here. If you're really curious, you can go to this link. So here it is. Configure secure store service. Um, ultimately, uh, if you really wanna learn about it, what we're doing here, read this this link right here I'm gonna close this and actually just do it just because we don't have the time to read all of the uh, why is it, why this is happening so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to application management secure st uh, store service okay and secure store service and will load there now what we want to do is we have to generate a new key put in your uh, uh, your passphrase 
and see it should process. Okay, now what we want to do is actually create the uh, target ID. So we'll go ahead and type in, let's see here, this is for Visio. So Visio secure store 01, secure store for Visio 01, whatever you want to name it here. Contact, I'll do administrator at star. Um, okay, and then we'll hit next. Yeah. That's fine. And if you should read about the secure stores, if uh, let's see, administrator check. Okay, all right. So now we have this secure store thing, <coughs> and again, you should read about it. Anytime you do anything, you really, really should read about it. Microsoft technology as opposed I guess to Linux technology that doesn't really make much sense but Microsoft uh, interfaces really make it easy to hit next 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 and if you don't know what you're doing it's gonna come around and bite you in the butt later on down the road very important so if you're playing yeah sure hit next 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 but if it's in a production environment and uh, you really need to uh, read the manual if you know what I mean. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is um, go back to wandering, and you'll notice it hasn't fixed it yet. Come on. Okay, so, all right. So Visio Graphic Services. So let's go here. We'll go to Application Management, Manage Service Applications, Visio Graphic Service, and here it's gonna ask us global settings scroll down here right click paste hit OK and now we'll go back to monitoring a few problems and solutions still gonna say it you have to hit reanalyze give it a minute for that job to go through okay so let's hit right click refresh look at that we just cleared out an entire category database exists on the servers running SharePoint foundation well unless you're super rich and have a whole bunch of computers to play with um, y you're gonna have this problem so we can do a bunch of things we can edit the item we could change the severity we could uh, if we wanted to but I'm just going to leave it there alright so now we got a big one missing server side dependencies this looks like a horrible error and probably really difficult to fix. Hmm, let's read about it. Holy cow. Web class, web part, all this crazy stuff. You know what, let's just go ahead and um, go to <coughs> general application settings and then we'll go to farm search administration, search service application, give me a second here. Hmm. All right, we'll just go back. Who knows what the heck I was doing, right? We got a central administration, monitoring, review. Let's just go ahead and hit reanalyze. There we go. So that's all that was. All you had to do is actually click on search service uh, application. It's a bug. It's a pain in the butt the first time you run into it. Thank you for joining us for Lesson 2, Part A on installing SharePoint. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, please go ahead and watch Part B of this video tutorial.